Well, most of us do not like paying those turnpike tolls, but we do it anyway. Well, not quite all of us, and more money is going uncollected than ever before. So what exactly is the turnpike going to do about that? Seth Kaplan is live with this story. Seth. Valerie, $1.5 billion. That's how much the turnpike collected during the past year from those of us who do pay a huge number. But that's a pretty big number down there, too. $155 million. That's how much went unpaid. A big increase, too, compared to the previous year. The dollar amount did increase from 105 million to 155 million. 50 million more dollars uncollected than during the previous 12 months. Now, some perspective. Likely the majority of our customers do the right thing. Well, okay, yes, but those who don't are basically taking 150 million bucks from the rest of us. And if that number's going up, that must mean the number of toll dodgers is going up too, right? Actually, no. The percentage of our uncollected uncollected tolls has not increased. What has increased? The tolls themselves, plus the number of people driving. In fact, at the height of the pandemic, um, our traffic volumes were down 60%. Now those drivers are back. So if you have more people driving and higher tolls, the dollar amount of uncollected tolls can surge, even if the percentage of people not paying doesn't change. We have a 93% collection rate. So that re means that six to 7% of our overall toll and transactions are uncollectible. So who's not paying? Well, most vehicles use Easy Pass and basically always pay. Out of all the rest, about a third of that group are the problem. Maybe the equipment isn't reading their license plates properly? Eh. That's like less than 1% of the issue. So if the Turnpike Commission believes most are purposely not paying, why not put toll collectors back in these booths? The answer to that would be that in reality, we just couldn't do that in the here and now. And, uh, and most importantly, that's not what our customers are indicating to us that they want. She said what customers do want is easy turnpike access. And she said people used to blow through toll booths in the old days anyway. The turnpike does work with collection agencies. This bill, by the way, would have made it easier to suspend vehicle registrations of toll scoff laws. Alicia had, had a lot of co-sponsors, but never got a vote.